we will start with materials. Of course, first of all, I will need to launch Adobe Capture application. To do so, I will tap on Capture icon and just like this, Capture will welcome me in materials workspace. Um, I will be using iPhone camera to create my first material. To do so, I will point iPhone camera anywhere in my desk because I will I would like to create my new material using my desk as a reference image or reference object. So I'm pointing my camera anywhere in my desk. Um, I will slightly tap on uh, my uh, image on this material to freeze it. And now I can preview my material. Uh, at any angle, if I will slightly rotate this sphere. So basically I can preview my material in 360. Also, if you would like to preview your material exam example, after you will apply this material to your bag, you can uh, expand uh, shapes icon and switch to um, this beautiful bag shape. Same example, if you will add this material to your ta table, you can tap to this um, shape and you can preview this material after you will apply it to any desk. But my personal choice is fair. Um, so I can preview it if I will rotate it. Next step, if you would like to add filter to your material, you can do it as well. Simply tap on this um, filter icon and here at the bottom of of your screen, you can see all filters you can apply to your materials. If I would like to apply a saturation filter, I will tap on, the, on this filter. Also, I can specify a value for saturation filter will be applied to my image, to my material. But today I would like to work with original material, just like that. I'm, when I'm happy with everything, I will tap on take a picture icon and Fresco will take a picture of my desk. After that, Fresco will redirect me to edit workspace where I can add edit my material. I can add roughness. I can add details. You can uh, add um, um, as many as much detail uh, details to your uh, material as you want, or you can completely illuminate amount of uh, detail. Uh, details will be applied to your material. Today, I will move my detail slider somewhere in the middle, close to zero point seventy. Also, what I would like to do, I would like to increase a value for a metallic slider. So I will move metallic slider pretty much all the way to the right, about 0.78. Same with intensity, frequency, just like that. You need to be careful with repeat slider because if you will move repeat slider to the right, you will create kind of pattern a uh, material you will add pattern effect to your material if this is what you are looking for that's great um, today i don't want to i don't want to add a lot of pattern to my material but i would like to create um, material with a kind of um, texture in it so i will move my i will move my repeat uh slider to about 2.4 by 2.4 and i'm happy with it next slider is blend edges blend edges slider is very helpful when you're trying to blend texture or all or uh, colors in your um new material also i would like to bring your attention to this even when you're working on editing your material, you also can preview your material from any angle. Simply tap on your material and rotate it. And of course, you can preview your material when it will be applied to bag or cube or sphere or cylinder. It's up to you. Next step is crop. Simply click on it. And here you can crop your uh, material. You can crop area 
of a reference image you are creating your material from. Example, you can rotate it, but be careful with it because any um, changes you are applying in crop uh, workspace will be applied to your material. What I would like to do, I would like to a little bit zoom in on my material and now I can see um, text in all texture in my uh, desk, all wood um, style in my desk. After I'm happy with everything, I will tap on save. Here, what I will do, first of all, I will rename my material, tap on the name and rename it to hello example YouTube because I'm recording this uh, and I will release um, no you know what hello um, my class just like that and I will tap done next step next step capture will ask you to specify creative cloud library you would like to save your um, material to uh, I have already created Adobe Capture 2021 library if I would like to save my um, my new material to any other library I will tap on this triangle and I will be able to save my new material to any other library or I can tap on plus sign I can name um, specify name for my new library my new library just like that and after i will tap create i will create a new library and i will be able to save uh, my new material into this library but as i said today i will save my uh, material in my adobe capture 2021 library i will tap on save and just like that we have created with you guys a material based on um my desk also you can create your material you based on your uh image you already saved um anywhere i will show you how tap on this image icon and uh capture will ask you where you would like to bring your image from from camera roll creative cloud lightroom adobe stock or files today i would like to use my image uh, stored in my camera roll so i will tap on camera roll i will tap on albums in here i will tap on demo tony tony one library i will tap on it i will tap on this beautiful leaf and now i can create my new material based on my image i uh, saved on my camera role so guys this is uh all about materials stay with me and next step is type